Well, I mean, I think that they'll be able to give you their their emotion, but I think it's, um, you know, there, there, there's a lot of satisfaction to be able to, you know, play a game um, this late in the season uh, that doesn't have, you know, playoff implications, division implications, you know, for us. Uh, and to prepare that the way they did, uh, to come out here and, and compete the way they competed, you know, I always tell you, credit goes to the players. You know, they were the ones that, you know, allowed us to, to run the football, allowed us to, to, you know, give up a play and come back and get stops in the red zone and, you know, told them in the set at halftime, like, guys, you're the best red zone, you know, defense in, in the league and we're going to need a stop uh, to, to win the game. And that's what they did. And so, you know, all the credit goes to the players, to the coaches for getting them prepared. And, uh, as you know, I'm sure they're excited like everybody else. You said earlier this week how much you hate to lose. To win, go out this way, how would you describe this one for you? Well, again, I, I, I'm excited for the players that, that put so much work into it that, uh, you know, that, that work hard and they get coached and corrected and, uh, you know, for them to be able to come back and, and, and answer and be successful and help us run the football and score touchdowns. And, you know, there was just a lot of, a lot of guys that contributed. And I think that's the biggest thing. And that's the thing that we have to remember is that it's going to take all of us. Um, it's never going to be about one or two players and got a lot of contributions from different guys. And, you know, that, that's probably the, the most satisfaction I get is, is watching everybody contribute to a victory and, and feel like they helped us win. Future. I'm sorry? What about playing spoiler to Jacksonville in their playoff? Well, again, we like to, you know, hopefully make it always about us, but, you know, certainly there's a lot of, you know, satisfaction in that as well. It's just it's a lot goes with winning here and at home and on, you know, in the division, which was, you know, obviously important. With Derek's future uncertain, with, with Ryan having yielded to Will, what was it like to – to kind of have a throwback game where the two of them were the guys that got it done? Um, you know, we've leaned on, on Derek. Certainly you touched on him. Um, you know, his consistency throughout, you know, this not only the time that I've been here, but, you know, certainly this season and, and frustrated. But, you know, I, I just, uh, you know, proud to coach him. He's a unique and special, you know, person, uh, but obviously an unbelievable player. And uh, his durability, you know, his leadership uh, is, is, you know, something that I've always appreciated and um, was, was on uh, display here today. Mike, you mentioned your red zone defense, uh, the way they bowed up, particularly at the, the, on that fourth and short. I mm -hmm. mean, he's reaching the ball out, and he was maybe a foot away. How big was that stand? Well, look, you know, I mean, we got a great surge inside. Somebody, you know what I mean? I think maybe it was, you know, Keandre and um, – you know, there's somebody that we added here, you know, towards the, the back part of the season coming through to, to make a play uh, to help contribute to that. And, um, you know, again, we, we had plenty of mistakes, but we were able to overcome those. Uh, and I felt like that was something that continued to, to, um, to show is that one play, whether it's good or bad, isn't going to dictate this game. We, we were around there, um, you know, played consistently throughout and, you know, Defensively, just you know, kept plugging away, gave up the one X play, and then you know played a fantastic and challenge there at the end in the, in the two minute situation. Mike, we talked a lot about the lack of interceptions for the team. You guys got two today. Um, what was the difference in your second half? Well, we we caught the one that that he threw to us, right? So that one you start there. Uh, the other one we were able to challenge, and guys ran to the football, uh, and, and so there you get you know get tipped, but. You, know, you got to start by catching the ones that they throw you, and then whatever mistake they make, you have to be able to capitalize on it. So that was what we did uh, on one of them, and then on the other one, over there challenging on a contested catch, and the ball came loose, and saw us, um, you know, saw Aziz running, flying over there. I saw, you know, Terrell running to the football, and then therefore they, they, you know, Terrell was rewarded. Of course, you know that's that's what we've we've done, and that's what we want to continue to do. Um, 
you know. And, and win, and be able to win, and be able to, to get off to a good start, and, and be able to, you know, control the football game, and, you know, have a two-score lead, and, you know, you know, somewhat, you know, put the pressure on them to, uh, to execute, you know, and I thought that, um, you know, I thought we would have finished, you know, I mean, when we converted, you know, which was a fantastic play by Ryan to be able to pump it and hold it, uh, not throw it into to, to Allen, and then a fantastic job by Kyle to, to kind of get in there behind guys and, you know, then the pile push that we talk about and, and show every week and how critical that is at uh, that point in time. So I thought we were going to finish it off, and, you know, that didn't happen, but then, you know, we're able to get the punt off, cover the punt well, and just great complimentary football and, and, and did a great job of, you know, situational play. You know, we got them backed up down there and or we're backed up and we hard count, gets us off the, the goal line. You know, those are all things that, that when we're operating and we're functioning and winning, those are all the things that we're doing uh, positively and not, not the other way around. Mike, you not wanting to think about one or two players. When you hear the fans chant for Derek and you have Ryan out on the field, is there any temptation to have a curtain call moment on that last drive or just kind of let the game happen? Uh, really just trying to focus. You know, I mean, it, it, we'll, I'll give those guys as much credit as I possibly can. You know, I mean, that wasn't any, you know, disrespect to them at all. Um, you know, we wanted to run it more time. But there we could have, you know, I mean, that's that's what he's earned. He's earned that right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely had that feeling. Um, yeah, it was a fun day. Fun day for, for a lot of different reasons. But uh, to be able to finish finish the season out, you know, finish my time out here with a win. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. It felt really good. Watching Derek run like that, season high in yards. Uh, I think that may, makes the two of you together like 33 and 20 when you start together. It, nice to see him have that day as well. Yeah, no question. Obviously, Derek's been so consistent during his time here, and um, to see him, you know, have the day he had today was a, was a lot of fun for me as well. Uh, you know. I know when I turn my head and, and he gets through the line of scrimmage without much contact, you know, there's a chance of, of being a big one. And he had a couple of those today, as well as the tough yards that he's, he's been consistent with, you know, over the last five years. So, um, you know, big day from him and a lot of fun to see him have that su success. Can you talk to you about finishing a time out here? Is that just you've been around long enough to understand the business side of things? Or is that something you've thought about much uh, this week? Yeah, I mean, I understand the, the business side of things and obviously, we all know what happened this year, so uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of foresight to, to see that. Guys, the team. Obviously, had a lot to play for, uh, trying to win the division. You guys just trying to finish well. How come this team was the one that came out with, with the energy and the juice, you think? We want to go out and finish the season strong. Like I said, it wasn't the wasn't season we wanted, but I'm proud of the guys in the locker room through thick and thin throughout this year, You know, showed up to work week in and week out, um, even when there was nothing, so to speak, to play for, but pride and, and respect. And um, guys came to work each and every day. You know, uh, there was a lot of days where it, it took a lot of effort and, and intentionality from, from everyone in the, in the locker room. But you know, guys kept working. They kept uh, trying to get better and uh, improve. And you know, we wanted to finish the season out the right way, uh, leave the season with a good taste in our mouths, and we did that. Like kind of a throwback game in a lot of ways, Ryan. I mean, you had Derek in the big yards, you know, efficient passing game, goal line stand. It seemed like this was the kind of game we saw a lot of. You know, maybe not as recently, but a, but a little further. Yeah, back. no doubt. I felt like a, you know, vintage, you know, Titans game. You know, especially in Nissan, we had a lot of those over over the last few years here. Um, you know, maybe not this year, but um, this over my time here, there's there was a lot of games I can think back that. They were so similar to that hard fought games, back and forth, uh, you know, big plays by defense, answers by the offense, and, and everything in between. So um, just a fun day and a fun way to end it. Do you enjoy the, playing the spoiler role, keeping them out of the postseason? I mean, it's always huge to get a division win. But, you know, for me, and I think for a lot of guys in the locker room, it was about, you know, going out and finish this thing the right way for each other. You know, we've put the work in, the time in over the course of the season through, through thick and thin, and, and to be able to, to leave with a, a good taste in our mouth and, and a win at home in front of our fans who showed up for us, you know, it was a it was a lot to play for just in that. Was Ryan, your head in the victory formation there, the fans chanting, you guys kind of put the game on ice. What were you thinking about that? I was just enjoying the moment, you know, enjoying the moment. It was uh, 
there were several times today where I had to just put myself back in the moment and not not step back and get emotional about um, about a lot of things. But um, you know, that was one of them. Just being in the moment, being in the huddle, celebrating with the guys, a hard fought win. You know, felt like uh, felt like that's the way it should be. So, uh, that pregame moment in the tunnel with Derek, I mean, is that one of those moments as well, kind of unique for you guys? And what was that like taking the field kind of together and then having a moment together before the game? Yeah, that was definitely one of the moments where, uh, you know, you give me a minute, I could definitely got emotional right there and, and really uh, went through a lot of history that we've had together mentally. Uh, but just try to stay in the moment. You know, had had some some words with Derek, and just wanted to uh, to go out and finish this thing together in the right way. And um, you know, we were able to do that. But yeah, that was definitely one of the moments where, all right, I had to catch myself a little bit, lock back in, and, and get ready to go. One day long from now, now, when you're looking back on your career, what what's going to stand out to you most about being a Tennessee Titan? I don't know. It's tough to say right now. You know, I created so many memories during my my five years here. Um, so many you know, fun games and, and relationships that I was able to, to build on and off the field uh, with, with my family. Uh, so many fun games here here in Nissan. You know the hard-fought wins, uh, the ups and the downs, all the, the times in the locker room. You know it's it's endless really. That could go on uh, with, with the, the memories forever. So uh, you know thankful for my time my time here and, and what it has meant to me and my family. And uh, there's definitely a lot of things that I'll never forget. What did you say to help DeAndre? Before you guys, Sorry, you, you mentioned you. you even had some words with Derek. What did you say the last time you guys went out? I don't remember exactly what it was. It was, you know, something like, uh, you know, let's do this one time for the one time. Let's finish this thing right. You know, love you, brother. You know, let's uh, let's go do this. Something like that. Uh, I think we're kind of in the same boat, right? Didn't want to get too emotional, right? Um, but at, at the same time, kind of. Acknowledging uh, the, the situation and, and the moment, and uh, you know, no doubt we'll, we'll have some time to to sit back and, and reminisce a little bit in the future. But um, yeah, that was a that was a sweet moment and and a cool moment, and thankful for it. Brian, were you aware of where DeAndre was with his incentives and how much did it mean to help him kind of hit some of those numbers? Yeah, no, I was very aware. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> very aware. Uh, you know, I thought we were actually a couple yards short, and I told him, uh, hey, I'm going to get you this ball. I don't care what they call. I'm going to get you this ball. Uh, and uh, they said he ended up getting it. So, uh, you know, thankful that uh, I didn't have to go rogue there and call a pass play uh, at the end. But I was like, hey, I got, I got nothing to lose here. <laughs> I mean, I'm, a, I'm out anyway. So, like, what are they going to do? You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I'm thankful, uh, thankful he was able to hit that. Obviously, wanted that for him and, and what he's meant for this team over the course of this year. You know, showed up for us week in and week out and made, made huge plays over the course of the season, and he definitely deserves it. You mentioned earlier this week when we talked to you just how emotional this year has been for you, maybe one of the most emotional in your career. It, looking back, is there one big lesson, one big takeaway that you could take away from this season? I don't know if there's one overarching lesson, but um, it's, yeah, it's been an emotional, it's been a hard season, obviously. Um, just try to stay true to who I am and, and what I believe in, and um, you know, be the same guy. Obviously, when when things are going well, and, and obviously this year when things weren't going well, and uh, there was a lot of time where I had to swallow my pride and um, you know, forcefully lift my head up and and uh, go into the building with a, a smile on my face on days when I didn't want to. I wanted to pity myself and and uh, be mad, but uh, I knew that wasn't. A positive thing, and it wasn't a good thing for for my teammates to see, and, and didn't want to be uh, a negative influence in any way, an energy vampire in any way. So, um, you know, I had to I had to put my, my my chin up and a smile on my face, even when I didn't feel like it. And hopefully, you know, I was able to to help the guys out, help the team out, and that uh, you know they saw my character through the whole process. Because um, at the end of the day, what you do and how you do it speaks a lot to your character. You're gonna keep playing, and how many years do you think you got left? Yeah, I know I can keep playing. You know, I don't know what the future holds, and, and we'll see. We'll cross that bridge uh, when we get there. But um, I, I know I can keep playing. I, I feel good. You know, I feel uh, confident that, you know, if given the, the right opportunity in, in the right place, that, um, yeah, I'd love, to, I'd love to keep playing. Yards? No, I was just saying in the moment. No, it's been a great eight years. I've grown. A lot has happened um, you know, through these eight years. Um, I turned 30. Um, and 
in year eight and um you know have my have my daughter had my daughter you know through these eight years and you know I've just grown as a person and a player had some great teammates great coaches um and the fans has been there the fans have been there through it all so it was just you know just, just a thank you to them I know how I worded it probably got <laughs> brought out of portion a little bit but it's a thank you speech just showing love to the fans the moment, did you thought about doing that, and, and how do you think it went off? Well, they just told me after the game they um, wanted me to say something on Jumbotron. So it was just, you know, from, from the heart and off the top, kind of freestyle a little bit. Hope I did good. Hope y'all liked it. Did, uh, did it feel like a little bit of a throwback day? You got back to yourself, and, and with Ryan back there and the style of the game, it was a lot like the, the best of what you guys had done together. Yeah, it was definitely fun. Um, Felt like the old days again. Um, definitely a, a great way to go out, especially against a division opponent, an opponent that I grew down the street. You know, watching and um, you know looking at and you know following as a kid growing up. So you know it was kind of all full circle, um, which is great that we were able to finish with the win and finish with class, like Coach said. How much did you feel like your teammates out there fighting for you? Whether you know whatever the future may be, it felt like collectively. Yeah, everybody had good energy. Um, had great energy all week, um, and I knew if we, if we came out there and just played our style and execute and be able to get into drives, that you know we'll give ourselves a chance. And hats off to everybody doing that, executing, and for us to be able to get the W. What was kind of going through your mind when you heard those Henry 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 chants uh, today? Uh, it kind of felt it was felt good. Um, you know, it kind of felt like 2018 again when it first all started, um, you know, um, it's very cool to be able to, you know, experience that, you know, knowing that they did the same thing for Eddie, uh, who, I, who I idolize a lot. So it's just cool to, uh, to have that relationship with the fans. What was a big run like that right there? It's been a while since you had a big, big run like that. What led to it? What did it feel like? Yeah, we, um, the play before, I think we, we had a look, um, probably should have cut back then. But I know I said they call it again. I'm I'm gonna do that, and um, it opened up, and you know I was able to get downfield. I should have scored. I'm getting old, but um, <laughs> but I'm glad that we was able to execute it. Did you plan that entrance when you came into the stadium there, the one that kisses to the fans, or was that kind of spur of the moment too? Um, I was thinking about what I was gonna do um, to 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 show my love and um, to show my grace. So. I just wanted to let them know I was, I was recognizing them and, um, you know, sending my heart out to them and thanking them for everything in any way possible, whether it was like this or blowing kisses, whatever it would have been, you know, just giving them a thank you. Ryan said you guys had some words before you headed out in the tunnel. Um, what was a little bit of that conversation? Oh, yeah, we just said uh, it was one last time, man. That's my brother. You know, I love Ryan, man. Um, these last five years, you know, um, you know we've been together, um, growing as players. Um, you know, help one another through adversity, and um, you know it's been it's been fun as hell um, to be able to you know experience these five years and the things we accomplished. You know, we ultimately did, didn't get it done, but it's a lot of things that we can look back on and be happy about. And um, you know, uh, him and his wife and my girl, they're they're uh, they're close, and my daughter loves his kids. So you know, Tannehill is always family to me. When will you start to? Uh... When will you start to sort things out about your future and uh, what you want to do next? Yeah, but after this, have me a Jack Brownsberger for sure. You know, on this diet, I'm finna have a good time with that. But um, yeah, um, you know, um, think we're gonna do something together, O line, and everybody who else is on the team, take a trip and you know have fun with that. Come back and um, you know relax a little bit, pack up, and probably head to Dallas. But, you know, I'm not going to get too caught up in it too much. Um, you know, just enjoy a little bit of time off. I'm still going to work out, still going to do my normal things. And then when that time comes, visit that when it needs to be. Derek, can, can you tell us, though, Derek, how you're, just, how you're kind of looking at it right now? Just how, how you view the next few months and what the decision may be? Um, well, this is uh, the first time I'm actually a, a, a free agent. So, um, you know, I got tagged the first time I was supposed to be, and then – you know, was able to negotiate something after that. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know what it's like. It's my first time actually being a free agent. Um, just going to enjoy the time, talk to guys around the league who've experienced this before, get some advice, um, talk to my team, and then go from there. You open the coming back here if the opportunity presents itself? 
Yeah, like I said earlier, I mean, any player would love to play for one franchise um, um, their whole career. And, um, and us, you know, getting so close like we did and not finishing it, you know, that's always going to be in the back of your mind. So, you know, I want to bring a Super Bowl here really bad. I mean, that's, I mean, that's one, of my, one of my main goals. No matter how I do during the season, just want to bring one here. And, um, you know, who knows what happened. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, any player want to play for the organization um, their, their, their whole career. But, I mean, it's a business, and I know – Say it again. To reach that goal of the Super Bowl that you just talked about, what, what needs to happen roster-wise? Um, I mean, it's a little bit out of my my pay grade, but um, you know, uh, I just felt like um, you know, in 2019 when we got to the AFC Championship, I felt like we were solid from top to bottom. Um, I felt like uh, you know, even during during the season. You know, when things weren't going right or we had a bad game, I could look to my left and my right and knowing that, you know, in the face of adversity, the guy next to me is going to answer. So it's a grown man business, and, you know, that's what it comes down to. And on both sides of the ball, if it needed to be um, somebody held accountable, you know, nobody were in their feelings about anything. Nobody um, was judgmental. Everybody just knew we needed to step up. And, um, you know, we got a lot, of, a lot of young guys on this team. Um, and, you know, with the experience, you know, you just grow – and become a better player, and um, you know you evolve with the game. But um, you know it just you know it got to be solid from top to bottom. Um, you got to have some vets that are, are willing to lead, willing to hold people accountable. Um, and you know I think that's what it all comes down to. And um, like I said, I don't know you know what the future is, but um, you know I'm just very thankful for these eight years. How important was it for how important was it for you guys to help um, D Hop get his incentives? Oh yeah, I mean, I wanted uh, D Hop to get that. Um, you know, one of the main reasons he came here. Uh, was very vocal to him during the off season to to get him here, and uh, you know, thankful that I was able to to play with him. And it was it was good to see him um, go and get those incentives. Um, shows that he still got it. I still think he's one of the best receivers in the league, and has plenty more in the tank. And um, I feel like y'all seen that this year as well. So very happy for him and his family. Regardless of what happens next season, what has it meant to you to accomplish all that you have, the Pro Bowls, the records, in this uniform with that Titans logo up to this point? Yeah, it means a lot. It means a lot to me. And, um, you know, it just wasn't individually, you know, me accomplish, accomplishing those those things. I had a lot of teammates that, that helped me, you know, accomplish all those, all those accomplishments and uh, coaches as well. Um, and definitely want to thank our equipment staff, Matt, Joey, um, Jerome, um, David Manor, uh, uh, Jordan, uh, Justin, and, and Trey, who contribute that nobody sees, make sure I have everything that I have, and I'm ready to go on, on game days. And um, even our security, Jeb, that's my main man, and uh, him and John is making sure I'm, I'm set, anything that I need, anything that, you know, I got any questions about or, you know, uh, let me feel at home as possible. So I want to thank them as well. Um, the kitchen staff, Elon and her staff, um, Jeff, I'm going to thank everybody. Uh, Jeff, Johnny, Pam, uh, Miss Marilyn, uh, Chris, just all of them, just making sure that I had everything that I need and all our teammates because um, I'm very specific on what I eat every morning, but, you know, and Bob with the avocados, making sure that I have my avocados every morning. So I want to say I appreciate them to the cleaning staff, to LaCoya, Johnny, um, Leroy, um, cleaning that locker room when it smelled like the Nashville Zoo. And I appreciate them as well. So, you know, um, just want to thank even Robbie waiting on me two hours after the game. Um, Dwight, Puff, my guy, um, you know, I'm just thankful for everybody who's been a part of this journey. And um, like you said, with the accomplishment, uh, accomplishments that I had, you know, they play a big part in that. Um, just want to thank everybody. Nate with social media and Donald with the pictures, making sure I had, had everything I had and make sure I looked dripped out when the pictures were posted. So um, I'm just thankful for everybody and um, thankful to, to, to help me and to, to, get where, to get where I am. Even Jim with the great articles and making sure that you know, um, you put everything out there that uh, made me look um, professional, um, a great guy in this community, um, and, and, and everything you represent. I think you're a great guy, man. I think the word of you, and um, I hope one day you get a chance to be able to write that article about Titans winning the Super Bowl.
maybe understand that you could, when it's all said and done, be one of the biggest sports figures in this entire city. Do you let that sink in? Because I know you're not all about you all the time, but it's pretty incredible. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really, you know, it's been some greats uh, to come through here. Um, you know, it's hard for me to say, to put my name with those guys. And and if you consider me as one of the greats, I, I appreciate it. But, you know, I just feel like it's still a lot for me to do to be considered with those. But um, um, it's been humbling. Um, God has certainly been good to me th throughout my career. Um, it never goes the way you want it to, but I feel like he always comes at the right time when you need him. So um, just thankful for, for, for everything. When you run through the, the things that are going to be on the list, the legacy, the, the number of carries you'll be able to get, winning, the contract, how are you going to stack or go about stacking those priorities? What do you mean, like? For what's next for you. I, I'm trying to understand the question. Like, like when you're trying to tie work on Oh, well, I mean, you know, um, you know, when that time comes, you know, I'll just we'll, we'll evaluate and um, see what makes sense. I mean, I'm not, I ain't getting no younger. So, um, you know, I, I want a ring. I want to win the Super Bowl. Um, I didn't win state. And um, in high school, um, so you know, I'd say before I leave college, I gotta get a national championship. So I'm um, in year eight now. So you know, the Super Bowl is definitely my next goal, and that's what I want to get. So however that comes, and however I have to evaluate to be able to get close to that, and that's what I'll, that's what we'll do. All right. What is, what is your what's been your favorite moment in your time here? Yeah, I have to say, I knew you was gonna ask me this, and I said, I said, let me. <laughs> Let me think about what's going to be my favorite. Yeah, Jacksonville, the 99 yard. That's how, that's when it all started. So, has to be the 99 yard um, team I grew up going up against. Um, so, it had to be the 99, 99 yard one. Do you think you have another 99 yarder in you today? When you're running I was sure so hoping for it, bro. <laughs> I was sure so hoping for it. I was looking, but it just ain't happened. But at the end of the day, I'm um, just happy how the way the game ended. So.